For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The 20th of September marked one year of anti-government protest in Egypt. Citizens across the country took to the streets demanding the resignation of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi defying a ban on public demonstrations. Since then, close to 400 people have already been detained and one protester was killed. Last week witnessed a series of demonstrations marking the first year of massive anti-government agitations. Demonstrations were conducted in the governorates of Giza, Almenia, Alexandria, Benisouef, and Cairo, among others. This year too, a call for protest was given by businessman and whistleblower Muhammad Ali. It was Ali who first called for the protest in 2019 as well, leading to tens of thousands participating in nationwide demonstrations. While corruption was a central issue for the protest last year, this time around people are also protesting against the spiraling inflation, frequent demolition of houses and the mishandling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Police used tear gas, rubber bullets and live ammunition to repress the protesters. Security forces also imposed curfews in several parts of the country to prevent the demonstrations from spreading further. According to various human rights groups, last year the government had arrested over 4,000 protesters. Estimates have found that Egypt currently holds more than 60,000 political prisoners, including lawyers, journalists, activists, writers, politicians, and also members and supporters of the banned Muslim Brotherhood. The Human Rights Group Committee for Justice has estimated that close to a thousand prisoners have already died in custody since July 2013 when Al Sisi came to power. Most of those in jail are being detained without any charges or are awaiting trial. Yeah,